Hey guys, Performance Motor Coaches, this is Darren Benton. I want to do a video of an available classic. I haven't had a classic available in quite some time. This is a CBF on a 600 horsepower Freightliner Cascadia. Do something just a little bit different today. Merry Christmas, by the way. It's the 26th. Been a little under the weather. We hope to get some videos done yesterday, but just couldn't quite make it out of bed. So this is the Cascadia 126. This is the long hood. 600 horsepower Detroit diesel. It's the DD16, which is actually 15.6 liter. It's a little bit more robust than the Cummins X15 because that's 14.9 liters. So definitely a Haas. It is the DT12 transmission, so the Detroit transmission. 18,000 pound front, 40,000 pound rears. It does have, um, what else? So we'll just kind of jump in it. Uh, 23 was whenever they went to the mid entries on all the CBF, which is basically the two bath bunkhouse unit. You basically option everything with line storage compartments, option them with dual awnings on this side, and it's generally as many lights, clearance lights as we can get on them, security lights. This one has the 450 Aqua Hot, uh, which is really sufficient for this size of coach. You can option up the uh, 600 Aqua Hot on the Classics. We really feel it's really not necessary unless you're going in really, really cold, cold environments. The nice thing about this, you can still use this for storage a little bit, and we've done several uh, pressure washers setups within this bay. There again, another option to do the three quarter pass through right here. We're working with a company to try to be able to get a really low profile uh, storage tray that will go underneath there. But a lot of them sit, sit up that high, so you basically lose almost half your compartment height to wise. So we're looking for trying to get something that's really, really low profile. Hopefully we'll have something here probably the second quarter of this year. Central vac inside there. All these compartments, very nice, very robust. We generally will adjust them. I wanna be able to adjust them such whenever they're right here, they slam, no latch. A little bit of adjustment, we can make them perfectly where they will all close appropriately. This does have the deluxe lighting package on the back of the coach, so Basically, the two vertical lights and then another uh, light down low. 50 amp shore cord inside there. So, if you had a trailer or a buddy to be able to plug in, of course, your transfer switch is a smart transfer switch, lets you know your amp and your voltage. 12,000 pound <clears throat> Onan diesel there. Heated wet bay, uh, the water hose is standard. Uh, we do have 12 volt heat pads on the bottom of the waste tanks. They're supposed 75 gallons a piece, but we do have a hydronic register within that compartment. And that will flow over a little bit into this two bays that house your two storage tanks. Macerator from the factory, dual Victrons, so this has Three out of the 270 amp hour Battleborn batteries. Uh, we can add a fourth from the factory uh, to do any more. You generally have to get them to the other side beyond four. We we generally find that three is the pretty sufficient number. Of course, your chassis batteries right here, and a few other 12 volt items. All the Cascadias, unless their special order will be a hundred. 20 gallon fuel tank just on this. Your emission stuff is on the right hand side. Factory sear seats um, that have been recovered by a Renegade and then heat added within. Our guys go through, clean them once again once they get here, polish the wheels. We go through the entire inside, wipe every cabinet down, wipe every window down inside and out. Outdoor TV, I think they started this in 23 whenever they became magnetic. 
pull out, move around, sound bar below. We're working to, you know, definitely with all of our show hours, we're going to start doing Sonos sound bars, especially with the with the advent of the Starlink to be able to uh, just, you know, have it more home-like to be able to watch and listen to anything inside or out. I know you can take an airplay to those locations, but been a big fan of the, of the Sonos, and we can always change those sound, sound bars out after the fact. So kind of, you know, this has been my go-to color for the last two years. Um, so, you know, these work, colors work really well. They're almost a little, this, this wood stain uh, is almost a little too brown in the Explore, but it works really well in the Classic. I'm not a fan of it in the XL, but the Classic, it just, you know, it works really well with the wall color and the upholstery that we can use coupled with the floor itself. So on the slide out, out, hydraulic slide, extremely fast does have the theater seats here and with the <clears throat> the nice thing about the Lambright theater seat is it's can accommodate three people um, really and truly I don't think it's that big of a deal to be able to sleep anymore by the time you have bunk beds uh, your bed overhead and then you can utilize that for small kids So just a matter of preference, if, if a customer said, hey, I have to have this for the couch, mortar couch, probably about three grand for a couch, probably about three to four weeks for the couch. But a customer could, could take delivery with it. We could just ship the couch to them. Nice thing about all the Cascadias, uh, we do the cab cutout here. So if you're relatively tall, so they have a really small opening, which is standard on the Cascadia. And then it will be the same on all the Peterbilt's and Volvos. This much larger opening here to get in and out of the cab. Like I said makes just things a lot easier, a lot nicer. We've not added Starlink to this. Well, generally, if we do it, we'll add it up front here. <coughs> the reason why I like doing a cabinet on the right-hand side is uh, strictly because it makes for 80-inch long mattress much easier to take and get bedding than having a 95-inch long mattress. And just the, the additional storage is definitely nice. All of our electronics is right down here. So basically all the Firefly uh, brains, so to speak, are back behind that. That's your Victron uh, Touch 5 monitor right there. It lets you know what your inverters, solar, and everything like that's doing. And then your two breaker panels down below. One is for your Shure Gen, and one's for your inverter. <coughs> there again, really nice cabinetry, nice drawers. We took a tour of the Double L manufacturing that they does all the cabinets. They do a phenomenal job. Very high end, probably the highest end out of any RV manufacturer out there. Storage, storage. The TV does come away from the wall. You do have the large sound bar. There's a subwoofer below the sink there. Washer dryer here. <clears throat> Pocket door. I like the way that they've been doing their pantry the last, basically the last two years, individual. because They just get so darn heavy if you load them all up into one. And then you do have, you can make that in really, if you had, just if you had all crop tops, you could make that into a closet, right? <clears throat> we have yet to bring any of the uh, XL bunkhouses in. These are a 20 inch shower, which uh, this is a standard shower for the classics. And then they take the shower, sorry for the classic bunkhouse, they take the shower over to some of the 38s and 40 uh, mid bath. So just having a 20 inch shower, you know, it's somewhat tight, but once you get to the XLs, it's 24. So I do all my showering like this and get in and out and hope you don't, I guess if you drop the soap, and the 24, you just have to go down. Huh? Maybe four inches I'll be hitting. So the it just kind of kind of makes sense to me. I think for the 25, the XLs will be fixed and run to the 28 inch shower versus this 24. I'm sorry. Yeah, 24 versus 28. 
can open up this guy over here. So they're, they're still doing the Schwintex on the rear slides. About the my really only complaint with the Schwintex is the kitchen slide, which you know, most of our classics do not have a kitchen slide. Uh, Lippert's come out with a new motor. We'll hide and watch and see if it fixes it, but we really don't have issues with these particular models right here. So six, 66 inch wide bed. Um, we generally option them with the big 43 inch TV here. <clears throat> Um, if you do an escape window right there, you can option no window there, but I like having this big giant closet. Um, hopefully they'll may, they might come next year with some option for a drawer here. I'll just give you some more room because to me, some of this is a waste of space. I started doing the second one up there. So um, I think that there's you know been issues with some of these openings, so they're uh, just with the amount of movement that's in this, even though this is relatively solid, it moves enough to keep on putting a few more latches in here to you know, keep that from opening because once it does open, it's gonna be a little nasty. So notice they started adding this because uh, I think probably more than anything, dealerships going for a test drive and people not double checking them was probably their biggest nemesis. One thing we've discussed in the future is getting rid of this as an AV cabinet because everyone is basically using internet and streaming, uh, be able to have an additional door. You can use that for storage. I just, aesthetically, I'd like to have it just as a solid door all the way across, all the way down. So 150 gallons of water below the bed. It does have the two hydronic registers. Always like to show this for people that trying to figure out like, what is aqua hot, what, what, what's going on with it. Basically your aqua hot heats ethylene glycol. They're circulated through these little guys right here. So basically imagine heated coolant in and out and then a little 12 volt fan that runs back behind that. And that's essentially how it heats the coach. All the heated tile floors are basically just a 110 element. So you have to run your generator or be plugged in to be able to do that. But as far as your aqua hot heating, it's just diesel and 12 volt. come back here to the rear bath there again I just I'm old school I like this bath set up better than the XL's I like more storage XL has the big giant mirror here there again just preference wise but decent storage all the way around and then same deal for the shower the uh, on the XL, they do a tile floor, <coughs> and then they have the same tile as the backsplash there, and you have two different tiles there again, just preference. Uh, we've had some customers decide they want some of the things in an XL, but you could still do a classic shower in an XL, uh, be able to do an option for just a single piece here, or to be able to run a full classic shower. There again, I'm old school. I just like this. this is very simple. I can conserve water. I can you know, stay out the longest without having to take and refill my tank by taking a little bit more efficient shower with that little guy right there. So this coach is available. It's very unique that we have a classic that is unsold. Uh, all of our XLs, I think we're, I think we're only allotted um, two XLs and we're on our seventh XL for the year, so pretty impressive. Um, do have a few other classics that'll be coming in after the first year that are available, but the luxury coach market is still alive and well. So many buyers that are coming from the diesel pusher, so many first time buyers as well. Um, and we're getting a lot of a lot of buyers that upgrading from Palencias of our own as well. So <clears throat> definitely happy for uh, for this. I'm glad we're not strictly relying on diesel pushers and travel traders because this is a little bit different segment of the market, but Appreciate you guys always coming out, liking, tagging, and subscribing, always watching our videos. Make sure you guys come back, check us out at pmcrv.com.